across our beloved empire. Let me just start off by saying, <laughs> it's great to be in the empire today. And you know what? I'm actually optimistic about one thing. We'll see if my optimism will be true in the near future. But to talk about this optimistic thing I am about with Galaxy of Heroes, we're going to bring in the Coruscant Underworld Chief of the 69th Division Precinct. Can you take off the mask? Take off the freaking mask. Sorry, sorry. <sighs> okay, all right, let, let me help him out. All right, well, we today, ladies and gentlemen, Gungus Droids, we have the most revered individual in our galaxy, of course, aside from me. AP Gaines, the chief of the 69th Precinct. How we doing, buddy? Give him an air horn. Oh, yeah, baby. Those air horns always hit a little bit different when it's, you know, four in the morning. You know, you ah. you non-Californian people wake up a little bit too early for me. But, you know, it's, it's great to be in the Empire. But, you know, some people forget, you know, revisionist history and all that. Um, the Empire used to be the Republic. And, uh, you know, the Republic sure is, uh, sure is sweet, baby. It is pretty good. I think you guys, got, especially the 6th and 9th Priest, I feel like you guys just didn't get enough screen time in Star Wars, man. Uh, yeah. <sighs> We chased Ahsoka a little bit, and that's about it. <laughs> that's, yeah, that's pretty much it. Well, Mr. AP Gaines, I brought in, I'm bringing you on for a very specific reason. I actually don't know your exact thoughts on this, which would make this a little bit interesting, but I am pretty optimistic about one main thing right now in Galaxy of Heroes, and that is Omicrons. We haven't really talked mm. much about it on the channel, except the road ahead. Uh, how, what are your thoughts on it before I start uh, sharing mine here? Well, I'm glad you asked. You know, it's a little strange, you know, we uh, we definitely can get caught up in uh, bashing Triple B mobile games. It's, uh, <laughs> it's, a, it's a, a secret indulgence of both of ours. But I had a positive video yesterday. You're having a positive video today. What's going on? Uh, I don't know, man. Is, I don't are we, know. Are we ascending Triple A mobile game? Mm, I think we might uh, be trending in a positive direction. Might be a double B single A game. Let's not get too cocky okay, here, all right, all right, buddy? You know, it's all about... <laughs> I think the Omnom Nomicrons are going to be fantastic because what is something that people have been asking for a while? What did Arnold T101 himself sing about? He said, and I quote, now I might be a little rusty. He said, rework Grievous, rework Grievous. And what happened? He got Grievous was reworked. reworked. We asked for rework. We wanted the Rose Tico rework and we got it via Omnom Nomicrons. We wanted a uh, Sidious rework. We got it via Omnom Nomicrons. I'm not sure the other ones because I don't pay too much attention because. Um, <laughs> well, busy, I'll remind you. We're going to remind you in the video. It. We're going to before. I mean, Rose after Tico's all that matters. Yeah, I mean, here's the thing. We're going to talk about all these characters. Maybe just do brief speculation on what we think might happen to them in terms of their viability. But long story short, in cases of new, I see some people on Reddit saying, "What? What are these ability materials for?" So obviously they've been like kind of under the rock, not knowing what's going on, but. I have 14 right. right now of these new abilities. I, I hear that you only got a few of them, right? <laughs> I have two of them. <laughs> Am I a failure? <laughs> I knew well, my mom was right. My mom was right. She told me at a young age that I would never amount to anything. Oh, and I yeah. guess we're proving it here. <laughs> well, I know we, I talked to you and you said you, you haven't been able to max out the Galactic Challenge. And that's pretty much where I've been primarily getting mine. And sometimes mm -hmm. on stream, I like to show how poor the drop rates are. The drop rates are absolutely atrocious when it comes to these Omicrons. I mean, sometimes I'll just for fun do a couple extra refresh and like here we go we're just gonna push as far as i mentally can allow myself to and we're just not getting anything so primarily as of now they're really meant to be galactic challenge exclusive that's where i've been getting my and of course we see them inside of the conquest as well a few of them but like here we go i'll do just one more and i'm gonna cat myself off drop rates are pretty horrible but with these new mm -hmm. materials yeah we didn't get any after all that so if you're not getting a lot yourself don't feel bad like ap gains uh <laughs> he's kind of struggling in that department as well but the hope and dream with all these we still haven't had the switch turn on for them quite yet but when they do finally turn on this switch here oh baby things are gonna get a little bit interesting i think here because these abilities are meant to pretty much help useless characters in the game be more viable in specific areas now of course you know that we're getting a brand new boba fett down the road and he's supposed to be a territory war monster we i think i called him a galactic legends for territories you may have said the same exact thing in uh, mm -hmm. one of your videos but it would be great seeing characters useful in other modes and as they said they have many specific mode specific abilities coming rose seek oh captain phasma rolo darth sidious uh, Kawhi Ganjin, Zam Wessel, Chief Chirpa, Chief Nebit, Imperial Probe Droid, Harris and Dula are going to be the first to get Omicron upgrades. So 
I mean, here's the first thing I'm going to say. I am very happy to see that majority of these are pretty much Galactic Legend requirements. And they sucked. Rostico, rink or raid food for the most part. So it's great seeing that they're going to take these characters or force to farm if you want to get Galactic Legends and make them useful. So I'm hoping they add more down the road. But I think primarily what I want to talk about with you today is what is your speculation in regards to how some of these characters are going to look and whether the fact that you like that they're getting reworked. How about that? What do you feel about the specific mode upgrades? Are you mad that they're not just doing a general rework? for all viability or are you satisfied that they're adding mode specific viability i think it's really good that they're adding mode specific viability kind of like marvel strike force because mm -hmm. what's one thing they don't want to mess with on all i think Galactic you know Legend, I mean, money oh money too yeah that's i mean that's the that's the same that's pretty much synonymous with galactic legends <laughs> oh yes exactly i mean i, I cut you off you keep going money what messes with money having characters that can beat the peasants cows, but what peasants peasants yes Triple C players. Jeez. Not filth. quite good enough to be filth in the and Galaxy of Heroes uh, game mark. <laughs> Disgusting. But what does this allow them to do? This allows them to upgrade useless characters that you already have to farm, giving us some extra value. Mm -hmm, Being, mm -hmm. dare I say, nice to the player base. Very Woo! strange. Mm -hmm. but I think they're doing it. I think they're making positive changes. And we can have viability because what's your territory where it look like? I know mine looks like geo wall geo wall geo wall oh, geo yeah. wall yeah there, we, i think we Mass had wall. a five geo, geo wall. wall yeah it was pretty pretty miserable so it's yeah it's mostly it turns into who can just clear galactic legends the most efficient because there's not many off meta counters left for the geos and that's pr that, that pretty much that's what caused the great nerf of 2021 there was just too many peasant characters beating galactic legends and that's why i don't expect them to create a free-to-play legend like darth vader to counter all these other galactic legends out there so i think it's great that they're going to bolster these trash characters and make them great in a certain game mode and uh, you brought up marvel strike force this is the, the best example is marvel strike force where certain characters might be trash in squad arena or imagine grand arena but in territories they could be gods here better than galactic legends for example in marvel strike force there's the heroes for hire team absolutely deadly inside of the territory wars inside of that game mode so it's great seeing that we might not see rose tico per se be a god tier team in grand arena and squad arena but she might be very useful for offense or defense inside of territory wars i think that's kind of what i want to just kind of speculate about people like i have one great idea that i've been seeing circled around for harris and doula but i thought we maybe just quickly go through the character you're happy to see them get reworked or what you expect so we have rose tico mm -hmm. on the screen rose I'm tico i already <laughs> know it's already confirmed it's been leaked by the CEO of Capital Games himself, by the way, I'm the CEO of Capital Games. I'm leaking it to you guys right now. Rose Tico's special ability, she disappears, is replaced by her beautiful sister who climbs oh, in, God. becomes the resistance bomber, and then the shit meta is saved. The oh, Radis shit. is now useful, and that's what the Omnom Omicron does. It deletes Rose Tico, adds <laughs> Violet Tico or Tulip Tico Violet. or Orchid Tico, whatever whatever her sister's name is, the beautiful, beautiful woman herself, climbs in that resistance bomber and the fleet meta is saved. That's what her Omnom Nomicron does, Arnold. See, it's funny. I, I, I do is like, like, thank you for the exclusive, by the way. I, we, we don't oh, get yes, those around. So I got first, the, that's my first exclusive. exclusive in a long time. But my yeah. idea was, all right, uh, you know how she's pretty much used for the challenge rank parade to make sure she takes away mm -hmm. to devour? I think her Omicron exactly. ability should be that she's immune to devour. That, so, <laughs> that, that, that would, would make her less <laughs> useful, though. <laughs> <laughs> exactly i mean to be serious though <laughs> i think there's a lot of ways that they could bolster this up i, I originally when i first saw these I'm like huh maybe these are like the relic abilities i think relic abilities have been trashed or not coming anytime soon so it seems like maybe mm -hmm. this is the way to maybe make them viable maybe add another ability or just bolster up some of these things i mean with uh, rose tico i originally when she came out it like it looked like she could be helpful with maybe finn resistance or jedi training ray the problem is there's a lot of great resistance characters in the room and she just doesn't quite cut it. So maybe she had ways to keep the exposes coming a lot more because both Finn and Jedi Training Gray, they love those exposes or ways to keep Term Meteor and Health Generation pushing around. I think that would be great. So just little things like that that might take her uh, to the next level. So I don't know. There's a lot of other wiggle room there. But speaking of Rose Tico, a character that's not as trash but wasn't really enthusiastic about being upgraded is Captain Phantasmic. Funny, fun fact. Mm -hmm. Remember, you were playing the game then. Uh, Supreme Leader Kyber, when he yeah. first came out, his lead was crap. The people would use mm -hmm. Captain Phasma lead with Supreme Leader Kylo Ren. It and says. people were livid about it. And of course, they fixed it. So uh, they mm -hmm. had the crit damage immunity baked in there. 
Uh, I gotta say, I do see this character a lot in Grand Arena, especially for cleanups and leftovers and stuff like that. Um, again, we don't know if this they're gonna bolster for Territory Wars or if it's going to be for a raid or territory battles of some sort but what are you expecting out of this character is it more of a leadership boost or maybe just more of an ability boost on her um it's probably going to be i mean most people use her in a leadership capacity yeah. to throw away first order so i think it's probably going to be somewhere in the vein of it, it makes them do more offense or you know you kind of throw those those remainder special forces tie fighter pilot things in there mm -hmm. so i think it's gonna give her specific synergy with that maybe increased offense maybe you know some healing immunity stuff like that um, I don't think it's gonna be too crazy. Um, yeah. While we're on the subject, I have a 30 second gripe to pick with you. Oh, I'm actually okay. really mad. We have beef for the first time ever. We got beef? Oh boy. I thought we had pork. All right, well tell me what's going on. Well, it's not chicken, I can tell you that. <laughs> you have convinced the masses to choose Special Forces TIE Pilot in the Galactic Chase over Wicket, and my free-to-play account will never recover. And that is the end of my beef. We can resolve it here. I never I hate told you. anyone for that. I hate you. I never I told anyone you. for that. I thought that was mm -hmm. one of the weaker uh, galactic chases they had. You can sit here and lie <laughs> to my face. Disrespectful. Hey man, get on the first order Supreme Leader Kylo Ren grind. I actually feel like I, I, I said nothing about that galactic chase, but I think there's been a big push for new players to go for Supreme Leader Kylo Ren. And the mm -hmm. first order. why. Yeah. <laughs> 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 okay, right, that's my that's our beef. All right, so I mean, all right, okay, you're right. I think I think I am partially at fault for that. So I'm sorry about Traitor. your Ewok farm, but you know, go suck it, nerd. Disgusting. All right, let's keep moving on. <laughs> Rebel officer Lee Organa. Uh, this is more. Yay! This is I'm actually. Yay! Like, how about you, you? Why are you saying yay? I'm just gonna let you take the conversation away. We've had the Leias in the game for so long that they never had a chance to be good. They oh. were the first characters. Princess never Leia was God good. tier when she was released initially, okay, but that was that okay, was. But like okay. since then, yeah, the years has been years ago. Yeah, okay, I'm a boomer. I'm a Galaxy no. versus boomer. <laughs> I know, dude. We just talked about you being a boomer. You're a double boomer. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry to say, you've yeah. replaced mobile boomer. Okay, I he's Gen boomer. Gen Z. Boomer, boomer. Listen, we looked it up before the stream. I'm a millennial, and he's a Gen Z, and it's a fact. They said Gen Z are the most depressed people out there. So get on it's my true. level. It's true. It's true. I. When was the last time I was happy? Never. Maybe the last time that there was a good Leia in the game. <laughs> yeah, so there we is, go. We're looking up. CG, you can it, fix Gen Z right now if you can rework R Rolo in the right direction. So just tell CG everything you need from her right now. She just needs to delete everyone. There she needs go. to like be super beautiful and then just start killing everyone. Maybe kiss her brother plus Han Solo at the same time. Oh, maybe a little mechanic where if you have a, you have like a, any Luke in, maybe old Luke, ooh, maybe JML. Maybe she gets a little, uh, a little rinky dink there, oh, but see. get a little smooch. And then a little Han Solo smooch. You run two Han Solos, two Luke's, and then it's just a four-way smooch, 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 smooch. Oh gosh! And dude. they all die. CG, we got some Five very valuable annihilate. feedback for you right now. This is the feedback that they really needed to hear. Let me, dude, <laughs> they need to let me in the beta program. I have so many good ideas. I have so I, many good I, ideas. I think you have too many good ideas, and they're just gonna say that's gonna cost too much money. So they don't want your ideas yeah. in here. Uh, but, in a, but in reality, it's gonna be like a synergy. I, I yeah. think it's gonna be like a like a Hera kind of lead where yeah, you know, yeah, share yeah, unique yeah. or something like that. I, I can like see that. Changes are she was always focused. an interesting character. She was definitely one of the least uh, important uh, territory battle characters. Who just kind of just had to get her as a function of a few things out there. But she was got, the Rebel Barrage was kind of nice, especially when Empire was a sort of a meta of Palpatine and Vader and stuff like that way back after their initial rework. Uh, but yeah, I think it's probably gonna be more of a synergy team. I think really at the when I'm, when I'm looking at a lot of these characters, a lot of them are leader based, and I think if anything, I can expect maybe like a uh, a Mo Money Mothma type of thing where mm -hmm. uh, rebel fighters they just came out of nowhere and they're not the best team in the world but they are quite useful in a variety of game modes out there so that's kind of what i'm expecting so i think it's going to be something like the uh, the rebel fighter type of upgrades here but this one i'm actually very excited for Darth Sidious, and i don't know about you but i i think all they got to do is just give us the one from secrets and shadows tier three i think we'll be gold <laughs> Oh god. What what wins? What wins? All right, here. This is a hypothetical situation. Secrets and Shadows, Sidious or the C3PO Watt Tambor Hoda Mon Mothma team oh, that god. forces your opponent to get banned. Oh jeez. Oh, that's that's Which one the, wins. Uh, I I I'm probably going to lean towards the C3PO. I, I I think that's okay. that's where my money is going to be. But the you know, auto ban team. The auto ban team. I think did they, they straighten that out? I think they fixed that. Oh, that yeah, was a, yeah, that yeah, was yeah, a yeah. weird <laughs> time. That was a very weird thing going on. But anyways, this character, I I actually know someone has a relic nine DACA and relic eight knights, mm -hmm. and they still can't beat this event. 
Um, that's Secret to Channel 2. Beat it. Th one did one person beat, beat it? it? Yeah, he hacked, but he beat oh. it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. oh geez it's that's insane that uh, that game has not been beat but i think really for an attacker he is a poor attacker i honestly think yeah, yeah he needs just a big damage boost honestly uh it would be kind of cool to see him and maybe just really milk the damage over times because really the lord vader i don't want to go on a lord vader rant but really the cool thing about lord vader are the damage over times that are unresistable like those are pretty mm -hmm. like anytime like i lose some it's because of damage over time for the most part so it would be really cool to see cities just kind of milk damage over time and then just let people cripple themselves to death so that's yeah. kind of my hope uh this one this next one a lot of people excited for qui-gon now that's what I'm, I'm very excited about this i know i i see some people worried but when zetas first came out i was a big fan of how zetas rolled out and qui-gon mm -hmm. was one of the best characters in the game because of zetas being introduced in galaxy heroes and i'm hoping the omicrons are going to be the the second wave of revival from there are so many galactic republic jedi and they all can work well if master kenobi but master kenobi really only has three leftover slots for the most part and mm -hmm. where the rest go they just sit in your roster i would love to see qui-gon jinn really kind of go back to that level of viability he had back in the day versus darth maul so i think him he's another great example i think he's gonna be more squad synergy based with the zombie crowns yeah. what are you feeling I think it's probably going to be that way to... I think all of these are going to be taking the leftovers from factions, making them useful teams. Maybe you put in Cam plus Ayla plus yeah. Mace and whatever, and Plo Koon even, and you have yourself a solid territory war. Mm -hmm, or maybe mm -hmm. they do them for GACD or Galactic Challenge. You know what I mean? Yeah. And you have a solid team that you can utilize in different situations. So do I think he's going to be GL breaking? No. No, but no. do I think I don't think any of these will like be GL breaking. Leadership? I just think these guys are going to yeah. create some decent walls to put in territory yeah. wars but here's the thing we don't know they're they're not all territory war specific so they might be somewhere else but i do think kawaii gun's gonna be more of a territory war type of yeah. niche uh especially just putting everyone together this one i was kind of not expecting zam wessel uh more of a recent galactic legend requirement this year geez that was a uh, that was a questionable <laughs> so you know it's so bad I'm blanking out on who is she needed for it because she had like two minutes of interaction, maybe even 30 seconds. With I think Anakin. it was Lord Vader, right? Was it Lord Vader? I, 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 for I some reason, so. I'm thinking it might be uh, Kenobi because it's, anyways, it's that bad that they pick these characters. And I'm, I'm, I'm having a hard time. Which 30 seconds of interaction is more important, Lord Vader or Master <laughs> Kenobi? Uh, but it's great seeing nonetheless because she is a bounty that's a bit underappreciated. I've been enjoying her a lot in Conquest because of thermal detonators lately. Yeah. Um, but outside of that, I think she's going to be more of just bol bolstering her viability in specific game modes. Because really, the problem is there are so many great bounty hunter leads, and we're getting Boba Fett. So I don't think they want to create a bounty hunter lead that's going to outshine Boba Fett. Especially, uh, or sign of Django. I'm sorry. Sign of Django, Boba Fett. Uh, or what, well, how do they do what they do? Uh, what's they, There's like 5 million tiles. It's yeah, not prepared. SRJ. Yeah, it was oh, just he's such, got a... It's, a, it's, not, it's not prepared. or something like that. It yeah, was, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, it was so bad. It was like prepared. Boba Momentum. Fett, sign of yeah momentum. oh yeah momentum boba fett sign of jang it's like wow okay but anyways yeah Janet was west i'm just glad seeing it again i'm just happy to see that these all are getting some sort of boost in one way or another because yeah. the one of the worst feelings were building up a, a galactic legend and having characters that you can't use anywhere uh that's one of the mm -hmm. nice thing about the first order grind is at least all the characters are used for supreme leader kyle ren for the most part whereas a lot of these other gls it's like oh zam wessel i'm so happy i'm farming up for lord vader and you have no use for them afterwards uh cheap chirpa yes the thickest they, character in the game there we I've go done the research we've written the reports the thickest character in all of star wars galaxy of heroes i they actually go a little bit to the left a little bit to the left move to the yeah, left that perfect oh, right there geez, oh man oh boy those you are some just, polish polish legs right that, there. those are some polish legs right there those are some meaty legs right there boy <laughs> you know what ewoks were so freaking annoying for a period of time i want them mm. to be annoying again in territory yes, wars. I want Conquest Ewok. I want stun oh, yeah, on assist yeah, Ewok. There we go. I want to be able to throw my Gear 8 Ewoks out there and just suck up like a gas or like a GG oh, or gosh. something. I want, I want an or, unbelievably what is it, uh, annoying team. Is it Galactic Challenge is that they can stun if you're using a special ability or something like that? It was, it's, uh, the, it's the conquest. They stun every time they're called to assist, yeah. which is every single turn. Yeah. Oh gosh, that'd be a, that would be pretty darn annoying. Uh, again, it's he's mostly needed as a function of C3PO. And it's just mm -hmm. one of those teams where I could definitely see them making them a bit more viable inside of a territory war situation. That was interesting. But this one, I think, is the most left out of left field. Jawa mm -hmm. getting a boost with Chief Nebit. Dude, they love 
they love thermal detonators recently. Have you noticed that? Yeah. Everything is thermal detonators. There's Jawas just something satisfying about it. There's just something like, I don't I, know if you've been seeing, I've been wrecking Maul with Jawas. It's, it's, it's just such a weird finicky team. And I was not actually expecting them to double down on them and give them like, they're not needed for anything in the game. Jawas, I mean, mm -hmm. they used to be needed for the speed mod challenge way back in the day and they got rid of that. So there was really no need to have Jawas except to screw around if Ray or just really milk the thermal detonators. On him. So this one, I'm guessing, since he's a lead, I'm guessing it's probably something against fashion specific. Man, maybe yeah. if they add a lead, because really there's nothing else in the kit for thermal detonators. And this is a really lackluster lead. Holy cow. Jaw and Jordan allies get 30% critical chance. <laughs> yeah. Like critical chance down for three turns. Wow. This has to be. This oh. has to be a, a, a function of oh, how successful the Mandalorian TV show is. And when we yeah. get GL. Mando of some oh, kind with a bunch of requirements yeah. for legendary Mando. I think there's going to be a couple of Jawas in there just because they they had the greatest episode of all time. Yeah, I, so. I'm looking forward to it. I've uh, had a lot of appreciation for Jawas lately. There's just so many teams that assist nowadays, uh, like mm -hmm. non-stop assists like Mandalore and Genos and Jumbo Fighters. They're a weird, like someone's asking, asking, are Jawas considered a top 10 offensive team? It's like, well, yes, but no. <laughs> it's kind of one of those type of things. They're just used for a lot of weird Niche type of utility I'm, team. Yeah, they're, they're just a to have. they're a Swiss Army knife. Sometimes they just get you out of a weird pickle. So like Mandalorians, like that can be a tricky team. It's like eh, I got Jawas, just throw it at them. So that's actually yeah. Uh, these last two, I gotta say, I think these are some other exciting ones that might be high on my list for mm -hmm. these Omicrons. Imperial Probe Droid. I think I know what it's gonna be. Uh, mm -hmm. Self destruct no longer does ninety nine thousand damage. I think it's just a, it can guarantee kill. Nine. Just have another nine. Yeah, I think it's just going to be a guaranteed kill inside of Territory yeah. Wars. I think that's honestly, I'm not going to bother talking about it. I, really, the rest of this kit's been useful, especially when Vader was a thing uh, before the Great mm -hmm. Nerf. This was a very helpful character for Supreme Lord Kyle Ren's Raze. Most beautiful droid. Yeah, I, I love this character when he came out. I used him a ton. I remember, oh gosh, what was the meta? I think it was the Darth Treya meta. And I would use Palpatine to suck away his health. And then probe mm -hmm. would just delete someone right away and then death trooper would come and get a death mark man that was one of my favorite strategies that i used way back in the day so i think self-destruct is honestly what they're going to increase so it could be more consistent in some game modes and this is the one i'm gonna i don't want to say it's the best or last but i think this one i have a i'm gonna be surprised if they actually listened and implemented feedback i've been getting this so often people asking Hey, you think it'd be cool to rework Hera and allow her to bring in the sixth member of the Phoenix crew that gets left behind? I'm like, that's a brilliant idea. And I think that's, that's probably what they're going to do. That would be pretty cool. I think it, it kind of sucks that you have to leave out Sabine because yeah. she's, she's got a great kit. I mean, she AOE, she does a solid hit. She's got an armor shred. Yeah. I think uh, I think having six a summonable sixth member is going to be awesome. Mm -hmm. uh, it's going to suck for me because I've, I've built my career upon a pedestal of trashing the phoenix <laughs> and, and the galactic legend oh so man. if one if one day it turns out that capital games had a secret board meeting we're like this ap gains guy he's yeah, getting out of hand guy, we can't assassinate him but what we can do is we can make phoenix really powerful mm -hmm, mm -hmm. yeah you i know, think you, uh, you had your run-ins there this is how they're getting me man yeah i mean my, my team's at you. gear 12 that, that i mean for my roster you know that i don't really care much about it that's that says a lot mm -hmm. i really only geared them yeah. up for the ships to be honest uh, just to bolster yeah. their viability for the the rebel counters that are lingering out there but i think yeah they, i think uh i mean it's not foreign to get a six member on the team we got that with the combat carl we got that the genos and brute uh so i think it's very possible that's might what they do it because to bring in the last character and that's usually sabine let them and that's another unique ability being shared or you want like the machine gun sabine inside of conquest or she just goes imagine a fully relic nine oh, gosh. uh like unkillable didn't, shares all uh, unique. Require, this is a completely like, side point didn't i love side points yeah they were but the the, the grand arena dev uh versus creator thing wasn't uh relic mm -hmm. nine phoenix kind of troublesome for some people because it just takes so long to they kill take them. so long yeah they're so annoying mm -hmm, mm -hmm. i mean that's indicative of having relic nines because there's two tanks on that team yeah but still mm -hmm. so that's just it's a, it, it was just kind of a fun point to bring up but i think harris and doula bringing the phoenix back up because phoenix whether you like it or not it's kind of a team you got to farm at some point but people like even my free to play i think i only kept my gear seven gear eight something like that there's really no need to go beyond it that's people ask how far do i take phoenix once you get thrown to seven stars you stop there's no need to go to gear 10 11 12 plus and beyond this might be a reason for them to take them a little bit higher so again at the end of the day i'm excited for this i want to see characters that aren't useful being brought up to viability and 
I feel fairly consistent with this opinion. Zetas were a lot of fun. I felt like Zetas were done right because you couldn't wail on them. You couldn't really get ahead. Mm -hmm. Pay to play, free to play players were pretty much on the same level. Uh, there was maybe only a few events that maybe give out an extra Zeta a month, but it wasn't anything drastic. Omicrons, for the most part, it's uh, there's an even playing field. However, there definitely is an, more of an advantage than Zetas for pay to play players to get mm -hmm. maxed out Galactic Challenge crates, maxed out Conquest crates. But it's nice to see that at least as of now, they're not just selling the Omicrons, but it's going to happen at some point yeah. in the near future. So I wish they kind of kept it more on the Zeta level where everyone's on the same playing field for the most part. But there is definitely a slight advantage for people getting those maxed out crates. But anything else you want to add to this conversation, my man, before we wrap I think up the, the show? The most important thing that we have not talked about yet. What's that? And it, it, it's heartbreaking and typical capital games, if you will. <laughs> uh, you, you have the forum post open. You don't need to show it to anyone, but just, you know, for your recollection. Yeah, they yeah, said yeah. The requirements, they said the requirements for an Omnum Nomicron character is you know, possibly required for a Galactic Legend yeah. or just a character that I felt that didn't have super mm -hmm. high use in the game. Yeah. And a, and a character falls in both of those categories, yet was was left off. Oh, no. Um, unsurprisingly. Who was it? And um, it was Mace Windu. He is both a oh, GL requirement. Oh, jeez. And an underutilized character. <laughs> there is a conspiracy. Stand for it. There is a I conspiracy of this Mace I don't know what it is. But I think there is honestly either one of two things. Either CG just okay. wants to troll the community. It's their secret way of trolling mm -hmm. us. Or Thank two, you. they have a bigger future for Mace Windu. I just, there's not, mm. there's not, they freaking, no one asked for it really. But without second thought, they reworked the Royal Sausage, the Royal Guard to work of Lord Vader. But Mace Windu didn't get anything. It's just like it's, mm, something. They, they, I think either, what happened uh, was when Mark uh, was doing his cooking show before okay. he quit. I think uh, Samuel L. Jackson just refused an appearance. And they've had they've had beef ever since. I think okay. that was the uh, that was the turning point when you know when Sammy when Sammy L doesn't show up on your cooking show you gotta oh, quit. Geez. Capital Games was left high and dry. They're and I, left. I think they're sad about that. I, oh look, am I on the screen? You're on the screen, man. Say hi to your mom while you're there. <laughs> well, that's gonna wrap it up for today. We're both looking forward to. It. I think this is definitely one of the better things they're doing in a while. We'll have to wait and see how pay to play they become, how difficult it is going to be to get in these Omicrons and what the overall impact is going to be. But for me, my favorite thing in Galaxy is this reworks, second thing in line, our new ability upgrades, or maybe something of that sort to really bolster them to a next level and become useful. Because at the end of the day, I don't know about you, I feel like we're kind of stuck in this cookie cutter rut in Galaxy mm -hmm. Heroes where you have to just shoot for the characters that are great in all game mode. Maybe some people want to yeah. go for a fact that they love, then they're going to be really good in a certain game mode and they can get rewarded for it. I feel like they... We lost the individuality of some rosters nowadays. So I think this Absolutely. might be a great way of doing that. So my friend, it's great seeing you. We did a meme review on his channel. I'll leave a link in the top right-hand corner if you have not seen it. Our semi-monthly meme review that we enjoyed doing. So AP Gains, go ahead, bid yourself an ado, and let's wrap up this show, my friend. I don't know how to bid myself an ado, yeah, but okay. thank you for having yeah, me, I don't sir. Know. Um, that, it was in Gary's script. I, I, this guy, man, I swear he doesn't speak English half the time. But anyways... <laughs> Leave a like, comment down below, subscribe to both of our channels, and most importantly, always remember, it's great to be in the Empire today. <laughs> Got him. Got him. Got him.